The historic district of Dahlem in the southwest of Berlin, Germany's capital, is home to Freie Universität. It is an established international network university with numerous partnerships throughout the world and a reputation as a top address in teaching and research. The Dahlem campus, designed in the early 20th century as a German Oxford, was influenced by such renowned researchers as Albert Einstein, Lisa Meitner and Otto Hahn. Today, thanks to its network of scientific institutions, it provides ideal conditions for close links between teaching and research. Today, the university campus remains a unique location, combining science and industry, uniting intellectual life and lifestyle, and harmonizing outstanding architecture with a leafy green suburb. In post-war Berlin, Stanislav Kubitsky and others called for a new university, free from the political strictures at the old Berlin University in the Soviet sector. In spring 1948, we realized studying at Universität Unter den Linden in the Soviet sector was no longer an option. We wanted to study free of political influence. When three students were expelled for political reasons, it was the last straw. 2,000 of us gathered in the Hotel Esplanade and demanded a politically free university in Berlin's western sectors. A few months later, on December 4th, 1948, Freie Universität was founded by students and scholars. Here at Boltzmannstrasse 3, I was the first student to register at Freie Universität. I studied medicine. The founding phase was in the middle of the Berlin airlift. We had nothing. No books, no phones, no chairs. Due to power cuts, some lectures were even held by candlelight. It was almost too dark to take notes. Freie Universität was supported by the Western Allies and Berlin's politicians. The new university preserved Humboldt's educational ideal and academic freedom for Berlin. Freie Universität has cherished that tradition. It has dedicated a monument to the founding students who died for their beliefs in academic and political freedom. Generous donations from the USA funded the construction of several central building complexes, including the Henry Ford Building and the Benjamin Franklin University Clinic. Freie Universität has symbolized German-US friendship ever since the visit by President John F. Kennedy in 1963. This school must be interested in turning out citizens of the world and men who are willing to commit their energy to the advancement of a free society. That's why you're here. And that's why this school was founded. By the 1950s, the university was well established and enjoyed a high reputation at home and abroad. In the late 1960s, the university was a main location of student protests. The political zeal of those days provided a major impetus toward greater transparency, equality, and democracy in Germany. When the Berlin Wall fell in 1989, Freie Universität revamped its role for a new, reunited Berlin and highlighted its special international profile. 2007 was a landmark year. Freie Universität Berlin became one of the few universities in Germany to be awarded University of Excellence status. Together with our many partner institutions, we are molding the Dahlem Research Campus into a dynamic scientific site with a strong international profile. Renowned architects such as Zabotka and Müller, Kandelis and Lukart have helped shape the campus. We are very proud to play a part in this illustrious tradition, refurbishing the building complex and adding a new library. Designed by star architect Lord Norman Foster, the Philological Library is a dynamic building offering diverse perspectives. One further architectural feature is the Campus Hotel, designed by Helmut Jahn, with a science and conference center. When I began looking for an internship, I looked at universities all over Germany, yet none offered the same things as Freie University. The people, the campus, the facilities, and the amazing city of Berlin are making my internship a very enjoyable and rich experience. Freie Universität offers over 100 subjects in 15 departments and central institutes, including Charité. 
The joint medical department with Humboldt Universität has the largest university clinic in Europe. The broad spectrum of humanities subjects is unique in Germany and run under the auspices of the Dahlem Humanities Center. Thanks to theater studies own special interdisciplinary character, it has significantly contributed to the creation of interdisciplinary research associations within Freie Universität. We also have a very lively cooperation with theater and cultural institutions in Berlin. Ich finde es sehr reizvoll, an der Uni zu studieren, die so vielseitig ist wie die Freie Universität. Die Vielfalt. Freie Universität's strength is also the range of specialized subjects. The spectrum runs from archaeology and Egyptology to classical studies or ancient Near Eastern studies. Our educational science and psychology department is one of the largest and most successful in all of Germany, evidenced, for example, in the very high third-party research funding. And our excellent network with other institutions enables us to successfully do research into key educational concerns. The Otto Suhr Institute for Political Science at Freie Universität is the largest political science institute in Germany. Our main research areas not only include issues in international politics, but also the political problems facing Latin America, North America, Eastern Europe and Asia. This university bieds veel verschillende cursussen aan. En omdat de universiteit in Berlijn ligt, is het een ideale plek om geschiedenis en politicologie te studeren. Many well-known figures from science, politics, society and culture have visited, studied or taught at Freie Universität. The international approach of the law department makes it especially interesting to study law at Freie Universität. We have academic cooperation with China, Vietnam, Russia, Turkey, Japan and the US among others. We are working together to try and identify the constitutional standards for future legal developments in the globalized world. Nemzetközi kapcsolatokat tanulok itt Berlinben a Freie Universitéten, és úgy gondoltam, hogy azért érdemes ide jönni, mert leginkább itt lehet a multikulturalitás test közelből átélni. The School of Business and Economics is one of Germany's largest and one of the most popular with students from abroad. An international approach has always played a key role. At present, Freie Universität is involved in over 300 exchange programs. Our students and lecturers come from over 130 countries. Freie Universität has offices at seven of the world's outstanding scientific locations – Beijing, Brussels, Cairo, New Delhi, New York, Moscow and Sao Paulo. Freie Universität is also home to the Confucius Institute, the first nationwide institute dedicated to the Chinese language and culture. I compare many universities in Germany and I found that uh, the Freie Universität in Berlin offered the best uh, physical and uh, technological environment to study, so that's why I decided to come here. Basic and applied research in the natural science departments takes an interdisciplinary approach. Even on an international scale, applied mathematics in Berlin is excellent. From a mathematical point of view, we specialize in numerical analysis, mathematical modeling and scientific computing, in terms of application, medicine and life sciences. The Institute for Meteorology assigns names to the low and high pressure systems throughout Europe. Geoscientists at Freie Universität are engaged in diverse space projects, including the Mars Express space probe. The wide range of subjects includes the veterinary medicine department with several animal clinics. Veterinary medicine in Berlin is one of five veterinary schools in Germany. It recently took part in a Europe-wide appraisal and was ranked as one of the best departments in Europe. The department is the only one in Germany offering a degree program for a Master of Sciences in Small Animal Sciences. 
The university's botanic garden is one of the biggest and has one of the widest varieties of species in the world, around 22,000, and attracts half a million researchers and visitors annually. Freie Universität's researchers regularly open their institutes, laboratories and libraries to the public, for example during the long night of the sciences or on open house days. Today, I am prouder of Freie Universität than ever. It is fantastic to see how this university, founded under such difficult conditions, is now one of the top addresses for research. Freie Universität Berlin, as an international network university, will continue to work with its partners to play its part in mastering the challenges of tomorrow.